The mover of this bill says the bill is intended for the good of the opposition. But as I have been observing, all opposition political parties have disregarded this proposed amendment, saying it is not in any way relevant. So I ask, which opposition is the mover of the bill talking about? The lead of government business is not elected by MPs on the government side. So why would we be seeking to have the leader on one side elected? Once the LOP is uh, designated by the party with the greatest numerical strength in the parliament, in the opposition side, there is no requirement for even approval by, by the House. It's just announced and that is all. It, it looks to me to be a blank check. Honorable Chair, I saw colleagues from the NRM who appeared before this honorable committee yesterday acknowledging that they too could be in the opposition someday. And that is the reality of politics, honorable colleagues. So let's seek to strengthen, as opposed to watering down, these different political offices. So, Kedadala, Yagamanti, Alideta, Kuroburunji, who opposition. Ne, Nebu Zizeda, and Mukachiko, Yachalida, Ebibina, be opposition, Ebienja, Ulu. Gababuza, Kuteka, in Uriate, and Beta, Yagalo, Kureta. Bonani Mamugambe take a Livi Fu Befufulu. Near Tia de Miraco. Cacatni to Ebuza Abantu Bogamanti Bolete take a Badigani, Badigovi Oveda Chino Chukubidani. Omusumba Yena Savanaga Babaku again. They were coming as a president. President Wang. <laughs> this matter was being handled. Supersonic speed was was a bit concerning, and all of that I indicated in my letter. But I'm glad you replied to those my concerns and we were able to reschedule this meeting so that we can share our thoughts on this proposed amendment. Uh, Honorable Chair, I've shared uh, a brief that I put together with uh, colleagues, which will permit me to read quickly, and uh, we see how things go. Last October 2024, the Administration of Parliament Amendment Bill 2024 was tabled and read for the first time. Consequently, it was referred to this Honorable Committee for further processing. And uh, I began by highlighting the following days when I got the letter saying, come the following day. So there was a bit of speed there. Anyhow, the position of the leader of the opposition in Parliament commenced in Uganda in the year 1958, just by way of background, when the first direct elections in the Legislative Council, LegCo, were held where the opposition of leader of opposition was formally created in this institution. Following the overthrow of the Uganda People's Congress in 1985, multi-party dispensation went into abeyance. The political space was suppressed until the early 2000s when the political pressure was exerted to reopen the space for multi-party politics. In the year 2005, a referendum was held and the majority of voters preferred a return to multi-party politics. The 2006 elections were thus the first multi-party elections held, bringing an end to the single party system that prevailed at the time. Consequently, the office of the leader of the opposition was established in parliament at the inception of the 8th parliament, pursuant to the constitutional provisions that restored multi-party politics in Uganda in 2005. The office draws its existence from Article 82A of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda and Part 2A of the Administration of Parliament Amendment Act of 2006. Article 82A of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda of 1995 as amended is to the effect that there shall be a leader of the opposition in Parliament under a multi-party system. Part 2A of the Administration of Parliament Amendment Act of 2006 gives efficacy to Article 82A. Through sections 6A to 6E, 
the procedure of coming up with the lead of the opposition and the functions of the same are well provided for. Section 6E of the Administration of Parliament Act stipulates the role and functions of the lead of the opposition and with specificity. Section 2 states that the lead of the opposition shall under subsection 1 in consultation with his or her party leadership appoint a shadow cabinet from members of the opposition in parliament with portfolios and functions that correspond to those in the government cabinet. The object of this bill is to amend the Administration of Parliament Act, CAP 272, to provide for the election of the Leader of the Opposition by members of the Opposition in Parliament, to provide for additional grounds upon which the Leader of the Opposition may cease to hold office, to require the Shadow Cabinet to be approved by members of the Opposition in Parliament, to require the Leader of the Opposition to consult opposition political parties represented in Parliament, when appointing chairpersons and deputy chairpersons of the relevant standing committees of parliament and for related matters. Let me talk about the challenges posed by the proposed bill from my standpoint. Election of the leader of the opposition by members of the opposition in parliament has significant implications for a democratic process. While the notion of voting for the LOP may seem, dem may seem democratic in theory, it prevent, presents several challenges that could undermine the effectiveness, accountability, and stability of our parliamentary system. Historically, the election of the LOP by the largest party has been a cornerstone of parliamentary democracy, particularly in systems influenced by the Westminster model. This practice ensures that the opposition is credible and representative of a significant portion of the electorate by shifting to a voting system in the House. Honorable Chair and Members, we risk disrupting this established tradition, which has served to maintain a clear and effective opposition that can hold the government accountable. Because even government should be interested in a credible opposition that holds it accountable. Parliament has got two sides, Honorable Chair and Members. The right side of the Speaker and the left side. The right side is led by the leader of government business, who is also the prime minister, while the left side is led by the leader of the opposition. The leader of government business is not elected by MPs on the government side. So why would we be seeking to have the leader on one side elected? Honorable Chair and Members, while the intention behind the proposal to have the shadow cabinet approved by all members of the opposition in parliament may be presented as one that ensures inclusivity, it presents several critical challenges that could undermine the effectiveness, efficacy, accountability, and stability of our parliamentary system and operations. The Shadow Cabinet is a replica of the Government Cabinet, which is appointed by the person announced as winner of an election. Why then is it necessary for the Shadow Cabinet to be determined by all opposition MPs? Honorable Chair and Members, the appointment of chairpersons and deputy chairpersons of accountability committees has been a prerogative of the opposition leadership in Parliament without requiring the endorsement of all opposition political parties that are represented in Parliament. This practice was established to ensure effectiveness in holding the government accountable. The same practice applies to chairpersons and deputy chairpersons of all other committees except accountability committees. Honorable Chair and colleague members of Parliament, for information purposes, Parliament has got a total of 28 standing and sectoral committees. However, only four of these 28 committees are led by the opposition. The rest, which is 24, are led by the ruling party. The ruling party selects the leaders of the committees under their mandate, that's the 24. Why then would the opposition be deprived of the same practice? What exactly would we be seeking to remedy? Honorable Chair, I saw a belated afterthought of the mover of this bill, saying even the chief opposition whip 
whom we call the cow on our end, should be subjected to a determination of all opposition MPs. Again, the opposition side has got the chief opposition whip, and the ruling party side has got the government chief whip, who is also appointed and is a member of cabinet. That's the government cabinet. I ask again, why would we be interested in subjecting one side to a process that the other side is not subjected to, honorable chair and members? Do we want to create a situation of more important and less important positions in this our parliamentary system that is critical and where all these roles are critical? Honorable chair and members, Election of the leaders on the opposition side of parliament by members would make the opposition prone to fragmentation. When opposition members in parliament are forced to compete for leadership positions, it can lead to divisions and weaken their collective ability to unite and hold the ruling government accountable. A fragmented opposition is less effective in presenting a united front, which is critical for influencing legislative outcomes and ensuring that diverse viewpoints are presented. Honorable Chair and members, the mover of this bill says the bill is intended for the good of the opposition. But as I have been observing, all opposition political parties have disregarded this proposed amendment, saying it is not in any way relevant. So I ask, which opposition is the mover of the bill talking about? Honorable Chair and members of this committee, I'm not the first leader of opposition in this parliament, and I will not be the last. So if the mover is targeting the current lope, then he is with all due respect misguided. Because I'm not in this office permanently. Tomorrow, it may not be me occupying this office, but it is important that we do not emasculate whoever the occupant of this office is. Honorable Chair, I saw colleagues from the NRM who appeared before this honorable committee yesterday, acknowledging that they too could be in the opposition someday. And that is the reality of politics, honorable colleagues. So let's seek to strengthen as opposed to watering down these different political offices. Conclusively, honorable chair and members, the current legal regime is devoid of any reasonable lacuna that would warrant an amendment. I thank you. Thank you for your views. And want to assure you as a committee that your views that you have given us will help us in processing this bill written to me indicating that uh, he was uncomfortable with the speed at which the bill was moving. And he called it a supersonic speed. I want to put it on record that uh, the alleged supersonic speed has since been uh, uh, has since been managed. As you can see, we are in the third week of considering the bill. So the issue of the supersonic speed does not arise. We could actually take a month or even two still considering this bill. But the, the issue was just that uh, I used my discretion as chair to decide on which bill to start with because we had the, we have quite a number of bills in the committee. Uh, and I thought the bill was small and I thought it would be disposed of first. But as you can see, it has dragged on and it will continue to drag on. We intend to give stakeholders enough time to, to give in their views. The second one is um, on the issue of the mover targeting uh, the current law. The mover, while presenting this bill to us, actually indicated to us that he, he would want the bill to start in the next term during the 12th parliament. I think that then also allays your fears that the bill is strategically targeting you because he said it here on camera and that's on record. Now, my substantive question is that uh, you complain that uh, the other side, the government side, has no issues relating to elections of the VP or the lead of the government business and the ministers, they are not subjected to elections, but there is surely some processes through which they undergo. The VP is actually approved by the House. There is an approval process in the House 
Same with the leader of the opposition, I mean the, the leader of government business, the prime minister, they undergo a process of approval, which means they could be rejected by the house in case they, they are not fit. Now, the ministers undergo a vetting process after uh, being appointed. They undergo a vetting process by the Appointments Committee of Parliament, of which the LOP uh, is a member and the other members of the opposition. So now, the other side of the LOP, once the LOP is uh, designated by the party with the greatest numerical strength in the parliament, in the opposition side, there is no requirement for even approval by, by the House. It's just announced, and that is all. It, it looks to me to be a blank check. And yet the LOP is a national leader. LOP is not just uh, localized to the party with the greatest numerical strength in the opposition, or strictly in the opposition. LOP is a national office established under Article 82. And I would imagine it would be subjected to some, some checks, some procedure of approving uh, the designated law in the House. So without necessarily going into the provisions of the, of the bill calling for elections, what would be your take on some processes through which a law should be finally approved in the House? Zizeko Mukachiko, a colleague on Parliamentary Affairs Committee. Nasoka kwe Murugunya, Kubanga. Echite iso chino, cha aso koteke wae mu parliament. Chituita first reading, ngalumu oktober. Enkeira nga bidi oktober, olue gulo, nefune barua, okuwa mkachiko. Nga mampito okuja, enkeira, nga satu. Ningamba chichicho, nusupidi, wechi kachino, bafa hachinyo imazi jensi chedi wo. So, chia pasonu wakachiko, ne muandi kila, ne muga sebo, kuso kira dala. Muleke tuko laku wa ambush. Ompise lelo olue gulo, nzijen chaku mbacha. First reading, yaba deo gulo, nga mubuza. Chichi exactly chiba piao, ebugu mulia aji nyonga, ateba ina nama teka amalala, gibata nakuwa saganya. Anyway, so nemba gamba sija kusobola kubela ulu, nako ulevali banja gala, nga andaba nida, sicha, sicha abu inkanya. Neba kiliza, ni nzija ulu, nako uluwale ulu, nga waiseo, ebanga, okwede kubulu unji. Eteka, muna fe, honorable lumu, Liyareta, okuso kira dala, liyate mbeta, okuso kira dala, ya gama nti alireta kuruoburu unji wa opposition. Ne, nebu uzizeda ni mukachiko, ya chari da, ebibina bi opposition ni ebienja ulo. Nga babuza kuteka ino liyate mbeta, liya galo ukuleta. Bona ni mamugambe teka libi, fu, mwe fu fululu. Ne ati ya lemirako, kakati netuwe buza, abantu bo gama nti bo letele teka, Bali ganyi, bali gobye. Obeda, chino chukubirani. Techite gele keka. Ede bila vye mbuzi za mkachiko, nti bwemba mga mandi leader of opposition, akubibweko, akaluru. Mbuli yao techari bade na chivi. Nti ne chief opposition na ya kubibweka wakaluru. Mbuli yao techari bade chivi. Wachi, mwaga la chukole weku leader of opposition yeka. Kwanga mpala mi tuina side zibiri. Tuina side ya kule mbelewa leader of opposition. Ne side ya kule mbelewa leader of government business. Leader of government business. Tiba mkuba koka lulu. Government chief whip. Tiba mkuba koka lulu. Ba cabinet minister. Aba government. Tiba mkuba koka lulu. Ba committee chair persons. Kwanga. Ena remu side ya kule mbelewa committee za abiri munya. Fetu kule mbelewa nyazo ka. Balina bo. Tiba mkuba koka lulu. Kakati. Chicho obo tegeiza. Echwe chile tida abantu kulo oza nti banabantu. Batageti inga senyo nyingo mtu. Kubanga. Wachi. Balibo. Sigala anga po chile tiba kubibu wako kalulu. Na ato ya gala saidi eno. E kubibu wako akalulu. Kwe gamba chile etebibu uzo binji. Elu la vila dalanga baina chivageza ako. Okuwa saganya. E chita tegele kika. Neko miti inga buenji gambie. Nti. Katusubile banauli liza. Endo uza zaba antu bebe buzi zako. Wanga chino komiti cheko la okuita stakeholders avenja ulo. Okubebu uza ako techina kuba just formality. Kuba uliza. Ida benzi zenda bangabu ogeda. Kunanga waga manti. Mm, ineteka. Siri tufu. Naba NRM naba lavie. Unakulwe gulo. Ida nabu nebaga manti. Mm, eteka lino. Ligenda tandika anga bidi abidi mukaga. Niba gamba, na uli delo ya wawwe, kanso barata. Naba, laba, wadeunga, waga mbanti, mm, bidi habili mukaga. 
NRM na yuwe nabeda mu position. Na bonga bala banti sawa yona. E chintu chini nzo kujira. Kati nabo, nebati ya muko, nebaganti mhm. E chintu visigale inga wibidi. E chuchukula ganti, chiba chicha mbo kole teka. Ngolikolo au ino muntu kuo targeti inga. Ngo muntu. Kubangu inzo kutageti inga, apali woka akano. Hinkida nubi nanga guli mu opposition. Tuwabi daba, uwechiti wa mbaba, mamama mbaba zi, yali ku public order management act. Yeke njini, ya soko kulumi wa eteka lino. Bagresi binjira, detention without trial. Yeke njini, kwe ya kwa ata. So kati, chikulu netulo oza, netufumitiliza kubintu bino. Uwinzo kubanga, senyo nyitumu wagala, kubanga abuze bibuzo vinja, lemera koku, nsongeze nja ulo, sende yomu uomu solo, wano mparlamenti, bitongo vya government, vya nja ulo, na china lemera ko, no gane, senyo nyono, adusumbu wanyo, katulabe ngeri, jitumu chanka na nyamu ko, zisigenda kubela lido of opposition, dubelida. Sina chinja gala, sina wechino kubela. Tukulukula bantu ingido vujinza. Katulia inzo kuloza, anti targetinga senyo nyi. No omu targetinga, encha no beranga, guwabade amu targetinga. Goli mchifoche yali yali muatenga, yali saidi yali. Oembele mbunu juku wa saka nyote yu. Echiru nji, echiri muteka lino, nchibuzi za naba komitinga, saba na uba mbuli le, chiru nji chibbo chebala ba. Muteka lino. Kubanga, mkubaga ama teka. Muna ama teka yenajia kuga ama, anti wabobo bage teka. Wabango ya gala kulichi usamu. Obo ina choyagalo kuteleza, echitali chirunji. Kanimba vuza, chichamu chiche mgeza ako kuteleza. Tichiji ute chite gerekeka. So, tewali cho inza gamandi chino chirunji chola ba muteka. Echoboli yao chali badebwe chicho singa, yali ya gamandi, hapa kule embezebo na mparlamenti balondebwe. Lead of opposition, lead of government business, chief opposition wipu, government chief wipu, shadow cabinet, ne government cabinet yona. Obuchiko bukule mbelewa opposition ni, no obuchiko bukule mbelewa government, bakomisha nwa bonna, katisinga ya chile itabu hacho. Avoli ya wa mantipali gambi enti, oke, okay, mwizo kwa mulimu echi luunji kubanga, uya galanti, abantu wanobu nabona, balonde we. Nibu gamanti ya, atu wakalo mtu wa muye ka, wenonze mu balala, katia echi luunji, chiba techite gire kika. So, echi ntubu echi tichiba, uvuli ya uchigira na kunafu ya opposition. Tudao, tulimu kuruani la bifo, Atenga banda faba NRM, bosi wakula, hivi ya abwe, baina ngei nda jibabi kwa saganya. Nefe tudao, tulimukuluwa nila bifo, na chi, tuvu demu kalulu, ah, nzeka kati, nangi ntandi seo kagrupa kange, kumanga, oya isemu, oba ya nziva na kalulu, oba samu wagida. Aba nebata ndika waka abwe, kati wabuli ita akavuyu, akati ita agisa. So kati, tewali chirunji chetulaba, muteka lino, tewali chetigeza kukulongo, sakuteleza. Omusumba yena asaba na agapa baka ukure gagende wa kumuruma Kumi na asatu Nila ambia galile jane presidenti Presidenti wangu Chosweka Betuwa sababa jema tusabire Teba kosechi Teba labise Tugenda kwe kalakasa paka Kweza paka kumuli ya mbili